What's up guys, welcome to the Sport Day. My name is Giovanni. Welcome to another Napoli review. Benvenuti a tutti. Um, I just want to make a quick review on this Napoli Genoa game. Before I start, if you're new to the channel, uh, I don't have any highlights here. The video will say no footage and review. So those, so those of you who are not interested in watching me talk about it, don't have to watch. If you don't want to, you can exit the video, there's no problem. But if you're a Genoa fan, Napoli fan, whatever, and you want to watch me, just give quick thoughts about it, that'd be great. Uh, the support's been awesome, so I appreciate everything. So, another Serie A competition day, uh, another round, and another disappointment, I would say, for me. As of late, Napoli's playing so well, and today this this result just knocked the wind out of me. I, I don't know. I, it just really disappoints me the way we start out so well and then drop off. So, I'll, I'm going to give a quick overview of the match, give you some stats, and then give you some things, you know, of my own that I want to say about uh, about the match. I'm going to try to be as unbiased as possible, even though I'm a Napoli fan, okay? So don't worry about that. So nonetheless, Napoli started out best team for at least 30 minutes, okay? They were so good. I think they were dominant for the first majority of the first half. Um, first goal came in the 18th minute from Gonzalo Higuain. A beautiful pass from Hamsik. And Higuain, you know, got a little, did a little dribbling and then just one touch maybe. And then he flicked it over Perin. Matteo Perin is a good young goalkeeper. I think he's going to be a great goalkeeper in the future. Nonetheless, beautiful finish from Higuain, 18 minutes in, and Napoli's off to the races. And I thought they, I mean, they were going to add gold. I mean, Mertens in the first half especially was incredible. I mean, this, his dribbling, his skill moves are so good. I mean, he cuts back and then he just tries to shoot it in with his, left, uh, his right foot off that left left wing corner over there. And, you know, Padin, I don't know if he made a save or not, but he, he missed... The goal net. He missed scoring by a few inches a few times. Uh, one time, I don't know if it, I think it might have been wide. Iguain missed a chance wide. Mertens also missed a chance over the top by a few inches. I mean, they were dominating. Napoli was playing so well. Hamsik was playing well. I still see him as a hesitant player. He's just, I don't know. Lately, he hasn't been taking shots. He has shots that he can shoot from long range, but he hasn't been taking them. But like I said, Mertens, Iguain, they were involved. Callejon was as well. And then after that dominant start, after they scored the goal, it seemed like they just sat back and defended. And that's what really, really just, it just pissed me off. It just, they played definitely much less of a standard than they, than they did when they, before they scored and after they scored those a few minutes. Because after they scored, Genoa slowly, slowly crept back into the game and it, and it changed. By the end of the first half, Napoli wasn't looking as dominant anymore. Um, but nonetheless, you know, Napoli, it was their half. Second half... I think it was Genoa's half. I think the the possession was split, and they created a lot more chances than we did. Granted, there are chances that Napoli did not finish that they should have, but they but Genoa shut down Mertens. They shut down um, Iguain, and they were getting frustrated. Let me just read off these yellow cards right here for for Napoli. Forty third minute, Hamsi gets a yellow card. I don't think he's missing missing next match. Then fifty third minute, Albiol gets a stupid. Yellow card, he stopped the player from going forward, gets a yellow card, he misses next match. That's a big blow, because center backs is our problem, and Albiol is probably our most consistent. Even though in the first half, he made a mistake, and Konate almost scored, because Reyna came out, wide open net, and you're lucky that Fernandez also made that huge save. Uh, let's see who else. 71st minute, Higuain, he's, he's done for next match. So, Pandever Zabata, definitely a downgrade from Higuain. 73rd minute. Callejon, 83rd minute, Mertens. Those players won't miss because they recently missed the match. Still, stupid yellow cards, stupid fouls. Callejon got it because he was offsides or committed a foul, and he still went to score anyways. Just dumb things like that. And like I said, Genoa slowly crept in. They didn't have you know too many dangerous chances, but uh, they missed one chance was dangerous, and then they they took opportunities on the pre kicks, the corner kicks, and Callejon, former Napoli player. Stand, uh, steps up for an 84th minute free kick given to Genoa, which was questionable. Nonetheless, the, the ref, I don't know, he was a little soft today, but he gave it. Kalayo took it well. Beautiful uh, free kick. It hit the post, the inside of the post, and in. Reyna was just, you know, standing there. He couldn't really do anything. And Kalayo scored a great tying goal, and it ended 1-1. After that, of course, now it's like, okay, now we have to rush, and we have to, we have to go score to win this game. And they lost two points. 1-1 was the final result. And both teams get a point. Genoa worked for this because the second half they were they looked like a little bit better, look a little bit better of a team. Honestly, I think they they really just closed Napoli down and they forced them to make some errors. There was a lot of errors in the passing game, just some wild passes in the second half that I was really disappointed in. But nonetheless, 
it finished 1 1, and I think Genoa deserved the draw because Napoli just sat back. And when they do, they need to have that killer instinct. Napoli have to think, we have to go win. We have to win by 3 4 goals, okay? We can't just go 1 0. So I, th I thought that was why it's pretty disappointing. Now, like I said, we have a few losses. Albiol is a big loss for next match. Um, and Iguain is a big loss. Agri will be our best center back besides Fernandez. Now we have to put in either Enrique, who was decent against Swansea, don't get me wrong, or Britos. I hope he does not play. I mean, he's just been so atrocious lately. Um, but other than that, the second half was the, was a detriment in this game. In the first half, everyone was playing well. Gulam, I still like him. I think he does well. Ravier played on his natural position right back instead of Maggio, which I thought he did pretty well at. Honestly, he looked he looked fine today. I don't think that was the, the mistake. Again, it came off a free kick, so. Um, but, you know, he's still a little old, but it was better. He was better. And Albiol, besides that mistake that almost cost him a goal that Fernandez saved, Albiol and Fernandez did their job, I would say, for the most part. Albiol looked a little shaky, but... Yeah, he's our best center back, Albiol, and I think, you know, Iguain, who you're going to put in. Pandev is, is a good player, but he's been so bad lately, and Zapata is too young. I don't know if he's going to do well. So, nonetheless, I'm going to stop rambling now, end this video. 1-1, one, one, like I said, well worked from Genoa. They deserve the draw after they just knocked Napoli out of the game. I don't know. Maybe Napoli knocked themselves out of the game. It just looked like they didn't, they just underestimated Genoa, and they just said, okay, we're going to hold on to 1-0. Um, but it cost them. But... Fiorentina tied 2-2 against Parma, so that's the great thing for Napoli. They're not losing uh, any points on, on Fiorentina. They're still, I think, what, um, six points ahead now? So a great result in that, in that sense, but still, 1-1. They should have gotten three points. Thanks for watching this video. My name is Giovanni again. If you can subscribe, that'd be great. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys very soon with some hockey news, actually. So thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Subscribe.